In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about uh, free load balancer, which promises a lot. Uh, you can find features like uh, layer 4 to 7 load balancer, reverse proxy, edge security authentication and uh, single sign-on, uh, web application firewall and the global server load balancing. As you can see here, the load balancer can be deployed um, in all the virtualization environments like uh, Xen, VirtualBox, KVM for Linux. Uh, Hyper-V for Windows, VMware, Microsoft Azure, um, and so on. They even have a Docker version. For this video, we will going to install only the free version of uh, the load balancer. So we are not going to install the commercial one. Here you can see some kind of differences, like uh, the throughput will be limited to 10 megabits per second. The TLS TPS license uh, up to 50. Here we will have a limitation uh, by the available memory, the maximum server, uh, virtual cluster. Of course, the support will be the basic one from the community and uh, there will be no uh, active uh, hot standby redundant operation. This one, you can find it only in the paid version. Another interesting thing is that um, it's um, compatible with the SNORT rules. Uh, it supports IPsec tunnels and um, another interesting thing is that um, it will call home um, every 30 days to refresh uh, the license. So right now we will gonna go for the download section. We can uh, get it now from here. We can click here or either we can click on download. Okay, so it looks right now that we will have to register for a camp ID and uh, here is the section to do it. I'm just gonna cut this um, part from video and come back to you later. Okay, so when we will want to download the load master version, we will have to select the platform and I'm gonna choose VMware OVF and here you will need to select uh, your country and uh, then click on agree. So right now we will be prompted to download it. So after you have downloaded uh, your zip file here, you should extract uh, uh, its contents. And here you can find uh, an installation guide um, and then uh, a product overview. Here you have another uh, zip file which uh, you will need one zip naturally. So we can extract all. Okay, so here you will have uh, two parts. Okay, so to deploy the OVF file, you need to go to File and then uh, Deploy OVF Template. So right now we will have to browse to the folder where we have uh, uh, unzipped the OVF file. And here you can see it. So then you're gonna have to click next. Again, click next. You can uh, give um, the virtual machine a name. So I will just leave it to default. This format, we will gonna leave it also to the default. Uh, network mapping, we will have two of them. We will have the network and the farms 
and right now we are ready to complete the installation. Over here you can find the status of the deployment, it will take a while. So now that uh, our deployment is complete, we can uh, power up the virtual machine and open the console to it. Okay, and after the boot process, we can find some information like uh, the default username and password. The user is Bol and uh, the password is this one. If you have a DHCP environment, uh, your virtual ma machine might uh, pick up um, a random IP address, but in my case, since I don't have one, for some reason, it picked up this one here. So I'm not gonna use any of that. I'm just gonna go into the menu and uh, assign to it a new IP address. So let's log into it. Okay, and right now we are immediately prompted for an IP address. And uh, we were gonna use 10.168.184.1.1. Uh, in your environment, you can use whatever you wish to or whatever uh, subnets you have available. Okay, so going uh, next, we will need to set up a gateway, which will be one. Next. So uh, name server IP address, here you will gonna need to specify one DNS IP. So I can put uh, the same, 10.168.184.1. Uh, please remember that um, after you will finish the installation, you will be forced to register your appliance for a free license. And then you can hit OK. Okay, so right now it says that uh, to continue licensing, and, configuration the, and configuring the appliance via your browser, we will need to go to this address. HTTPS colon for slash four slash 10.168.184.140. Yeah? So we will hit again, yes. We will uh, have to go to the browser. And of course, uh, because it will have a self-signed certificate, we will gonna get prompted with this error saying that it's not secure. So we will gonna go to details and we will gonna go uh, anyway on that web page. So we will be prompted to the end user uh, license agreement, which you will have to agree with if you're planning to use the appliance, of course. Okay, and right now we will have to enter our ID and password. So now you're gonna be prompted with the license types. If uh, you want to get a temporary license, you can click on this button here and you're gonna have all the uh, features, uh, but uh, you will have only a valuation of uh, 30 days. Or for example, if you want uh, the free license, you need to click here and um, simply then continue to get a free one. But uh, the free one comes with uh, limitations I, as I have explained you earlier. And now for example, uh, regarding the free license, uh, in order to relicense itself every 30 days, uh, you will need to have uh, this feature for call home um, activated. Yeah, so you can click on continue. Uh, 
And right now it says that the machine was successfully licensed. And right now we will choose a password for the appliance. And we will click on set password. Okay, and the password is set for the user ball. Now we will click continue. Now we will gonna be prompted for the username and password. So you can use ball and then the password. Okay, so right now to log into the appliance, we will need to specify the user ball, as you can see here, and uh, the password that we have defined uh, earlier. Okay, so this is it for the installation of uh, low master in a uh, vmware esxi in um, in the next video regarding load master i'm going to show you how we can um, configure um, some load balancing and for that one we have the perfect environment from um, our graylock servers Uh, we will simply put uh, the load balancer here in front of the load servers. So let's call it virtual load master. Yeah. And all the requests will gonna come from here and we're gonna go either here or here or here, depending on uh, our setup. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.